Hi there guys, today we're going to be looking at how to push an RTMPS stream using Nginx and Sunnel. And this is mainly in response to Facebook's decision to force um, users to uh, only use RTMPS. So that's the plan, that's what we're going to show you today. And the first thing you want to do is go to this GitHub link right here, it'll be in the description down below. And this is something by Eluspus, and the name of the thing is Nginx RTMP Windows 32. And this is basically our copy of Nginx. You want to go here, download a zip, open it up. You'll see that there's a folder here, and we just want to extract this to our desktop or wherever you want to store it. It doesn't really matter. So now we have it right here. The next thing we want to do is click on this folder, open it up, and you'll see that there's this folder titled conf configuration. So we'll go here, click on this one, nginx.conf, and you'll see that there's already an RTMP um, section here. What we want to do is add on to this um, the following. It's going to be this little thing right here. This is the push. You can add as many of these as you really want, and uh, basically what this does, it's one for each for each live stream. Since this one is RTMPS, we're going to be pushing it to this address right here, because we're running it on localhost, and the stunnel is going to be listening on port 19350, and all we need to do is just put our Facebook key in right here, so let's go ahead and copy that, and paste that right into here. And then that's all that we're going to be needing to do with Nginx, so we're just going to go ahead and save that. Close out of there. And then the next site that we're going to be needing to visit is Stunnel, stunnel.org. And that link will also be in the description. We'll go right here, Stunnel 5.56 Windows 64. Click on that right there. It'll tell us that it's not safe to run, just click more info, run anyway, I promise it's safe. You're not going to get a virus. Click I agree. For this one, I'm just going to install it on mine. It, you know, once again, it doesn't really matter. It's just going to change the destination folder. And in the case that you do click the other option, if you need to check where your file is saved because you don't remember, just click over here, right click, properties, and then right here, this will tell you where where the file is. So mine is in app data local. So we'll just go ahead, go over here, uh, go to the app data folder, and it'll, this one will come up in roaming, but we want to go to local, like it said. And then down here in the S, you will find stunnel. I'm going to go to the configuration folder, and then this one right here is stunnel.conf. It'll open up to this. None of this stuff is really important. Just scroll all the way to the bottom. And uh, yours should not already have this, but this right here is just, um, it, it'll be in the description, Just you just want to copy this down and then paste it right in. It's going to be our way of pushing the stream that we get from Nginx over to Facebook under RTMPS. So once again, like here, it's saying that it's going to be listening to 19350, just like we told it to send it to. And then this right here, it's going to be connecting to whatever this address is right here. And then uh, that's all we have to do for Stunnel. Go ahead and click Save. And all we need to do is just run everything. So we can go ahead and start up Nginx. Go on over here. Oh, not what I meant to do. Scroll on down here. Let's find Stunnel. Go ahead and just start it. There we go. It should be on, and we can verify that it's on. Control Alt Delete. Go to Task Manager. Go on down here. We see the Nginx is running, and over here in the S area, we see that Stunnel is also running. All that's left to do is really just test it out. So I'm gonna open up OBS. See here, just OBS. Yours might look a little bit different. Just depends. Go on down to settings. I'm gonna go to stream. If it isn't already here, click on custom. 
And then uh, this is the address that we're going to put in. I'll, once again, this will be in the description, but it's rtmp colon slash slash. And then the address of where it's at for us is going to be 127.0.0.1 slash live. And then the stream key, this doesn't matter. This can be literally anything you want because it's not going to be actually taking that into consideration. So you can just go ahead and hit apply. And over here, Facebook. So if we click start streaming, this should now begin pushing it over to Facebook and you'll see here that it is changing and are in event logs it has received the signal so boom we have now sent it from RTMP like it says over here we've sent it from RTMP over to RTMPS and that way we can stream to Facebook one more thing that I forgot to add is that so we okay we already set this one up so we've got the Facebook one already going but Obviously, you're going to be wanting to put something else here as well. So I'll also throw in a YouTube one here. Let me just move it over. So here we got YouTube, their dashboard. And so this is their stream URL. We're going to go ahead and copy that down. Because you're obviously going to want to stream to more than one. I'm guessing that's probably why you got this. So it's the same It's the same uh, command, uh, I guess, line. Uh, this time, we're just going to be putting in YouTube thing instead of the uh, instead of the Facebook one so once again this will be in the description it's the same one that we use for the Facebook one it's just that this one we're gonna be putting in this little address spot the YouTube one so going back over to the YouTube dashboard we're gonna copy our stream key put that in right there uh, I'll go ahead and put our colon down and then that should be that. Nothing else needs to change. This should all be good as is. Click save there. Uh, we're going to want to restart Nginx because it was already running. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that real fast. Let's close out of that one. And then I think there's a second one down here somewhere. Yeah. Want to start up Nginx again over here. Click that. Boom. Nginx should now be running. We go over to OBS. Start streaming over to Google Chrome and we'll see that it is now connected to Facebook over here Facebook's running and then over here you'll see the excellent connection on YouTube and in a couple of seconds it should start uh, this thing should go blue meaning that we're uh, ready to go live so there you go preview will be over here so as you can see we're streaming to the Facebook and uh, to YouTube at the same time just like that so yes, it does work with both of those. And yeah, that's all That's all I have for you guys. So hopefully that was helpful. And uh, yeah, once again, everything will be in the description.